I just got back from Petco and I went ahead and got some of this pet grass. Um, I like to give this to my mice actually. I know it's like usually for cats, but I like to give it to my mice uh, well, about two or three times a year just to give them something extra to do, something to forage, and they can eat the grass. And then um, I got 60 crickets and this will be for uh, quite a few of my pets dinner tonight. Um, and that is to live right now. Now on to the portion of the video where I show you a bunch of stuff that I absolutely did not need to buy. And I just did because I can't control myself and Chewy has some really cute stuff. So the first thing is they have this Rugrats collection. And I loved the Rugrats, so I got a couple things. I didn't realize this was going to be so big. Um, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought, so I don't know if the ferrets are going to be able to play with this. Harley takes a liking to large toys sometimes, so I'll put it out, and if she wants to play with it, she can. If not, it's just going to sit on the couch with the other collection of build -Grits. Next, I got this Tommy and Chucky. Again, these are a little bit bigger, but these are kind of the size I thought the Reptar was going to be, and I thought these were going to be more like cat toy sized uh these the ferrets will definitely be able to play with so i'll take these off and lay them around and the ferrets will take them um and then the next couple things are by the brand frisco so they came out with a breakfast collection so this was a four pack of toys it came out with like a bun a croissant a little cupcake pastry with a cherry on top and this little fruit pie pastry thing and then I also got the breakfast mouse pack so it has a pancake mouse an egg mouse a gingham print mouse a like pastry mouse and what is that one a th another pastry mouse I'm not sure but these are super cute even the cats like to bat these around and play with them so these will be a big hit and then the last toy set I got is these little St. Patrick's Day toys. My dad was 100% Irish, and as you guys know, he passed away about a year ago. So I thought I would get these. I thought they were super cute and made me think of him. We got this little leprechaun, a pot of gold, a rainbow, a pint of beer, and this uh, shamrock dude. Chewy also had a Disney collection, and Winnie the Pooh has always been very special to me since I was little. So I got this ceramic Winnie the Pooh bowl for the bunnies. Um, I wanted them to have another ceramic water bowl um, because one of them they have right now is like tin or something and they keep tipping it. So I wanted to get them a second ceramic water bowl, so, bowl, so I'll wash that and give that to them. And then the last thing I got is this uh, original, pe original treat puzzle toy. This is just made out of cardboard and it's like $15. So I've seen it a lot, but never purchased it. And I just keep seeing so many raving reviews on this product being awesome for cats. So I'm going to put it together and we'll see what it looks like. Um, and see if maybe I can get the cats to use it. They do like treat puzzles, toys. I'm not sure how long this will last, uh, but if they can get like a couple months of use out of it, then I will call that a win. So this is what it looks like. It is a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Not extremely small. Um... Just is slightly a bit smaller than I thought and it was pretty easy to put together it did come with pretty good instructions and then there's like three modes that you can put the treats in the larger one which is like $30 and honestly if this works out well and lasts long enough I might invest in one of these ones because I always really like the uh, puzzle toys for my cats and it's hard to find good ones that don't have a lot of, lot of uh, movable pieces and then just a review page but yeah, as you can see, an info's already enjoying the box. So let's grab some treats and see if they want to play with it. They probably will. There they are, already going at it. Info's the one that usually really likes the treat puzzle toys. But I'm sure they're going to have hours of fun with that. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Let's see if I get anything else. I've been pretty good with not buying too many frivolous things this month uh, because I have two huge vet bills. So this, this might be what they get. Cardboard toy box. The 
the simpleton doesn't like to work for his toys, but he will play with the mouse tail string. So it's actually like the 20th and I haven't really got anything for my pets until today. So I wanted to show you, I went to the Dollar Tree and got some stuff. So I got quite a few things for uh, Nuggets Easter makeover. So I got this little cardboard house, this like cute cardboard little house thing. I actually got this for the ferrets. I got them a little chocolate bunny toy. I got this two pack of these little containers also for nuggets. This is like a huge like egg, bunny egg. And I got this to use as like a bowl and nuggets enclosure and then a hide, not, not connected, but like just two separate things. But I thought that would be a cute hide and that would be a cute bowl for some of her substrate. And then I got this little gnome uh, Easter basket container also for her. And then I went a little crazy at Target. I went to go get more of the bath mats. So these are all the medium sized ones. I got a black one. I got a pink one. I got a dark green. I got this pretty mint green color. And it's actually not showing up the right color uh, on the camera, but it's a pretty mint green. And then I got this more expensive, heavier duty uh, bath mat to put next to the litter box because they keep peeing next to the litter box and the other one I had was light. And so I'm gonna have to throw it away because now it looks disgusting because it's stained. Um, I also got some of this shredded paper um, Easter grass to give to the bunnies in a foraging box. I was gonna hide herbs and stuff in there and let them dig through that. I also got this super cute plastic flower bowl I was thinking to give to Nugget um, or I might give it to the bunnies with water. I'm not certain yet because it is plastic so they might just tip it over. And then I got these super cute bunny plates that I'm again going to give the bunnies their salads on in the morning because currently they just use a little like wicker thing but this is way cuter. Um, so I got those two and then I got three fleece blankets. These two I'm for sure going to use in the bunny enclosure. This one, I'm not sure yet. It is literally so cute. I kind of want to keep it for myself, um, but I'll see. I'm definitely going to give them these two, though. I love these $10 blankets from Target um, to use in the bunny and ferret enclosures because it's cheaper than buying fleece, and they're really nice and soft, and they wash well, and they last a long time. So I get them all the time for the ferrets and the rabbits. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of everything I got. Like I said, I, I went a little crazy, but I needed some more bath mats because I had literally the bare minimum and it was super annoying to have to wash everything and replace the bedding and everything in the same day. So now I have some more, but yeah, I honestly don't know if I'm going to get much more, but you will see. I also got some stuff from Petco. So I got my crickets for everyone's dinner for tonight. I got these two little mice toys that I thought were super cute and Cloud really likes these so I got those for him. I got an extra large whimsy for the mice and then I got this little tiny uh, bearded dragon costume that I'm going to put in my ferrets in and then get photos of them. I thought it was super cute. It's like a little little hatching duckling or chicken or something but I thought it was so cute so I got okay, that. So it's literally the very last day of the month. I actually made an order on Petco last night and I thought it was getting mailed to me and then somebody called and said they were dropping the stuff out of my house so apparently part of my order got delivered I have no idea um but this isn't all my order so part of it's definitely getting mailed to me I got a new bag of aspirin I love to use this for my mice it is awesome and then I also give it to hamsters as like an extra texture but I mainly use this as my mouse bedding I got a new bag of rabbit food um, just while I was making an order because I'm about halfway through the current bag I have. I did get a bag of KT ferret food and I know before anybody comments, this food is not good. We are down to one bag of this mixed with four bags of Wysong and two bags of Zeewee Peak. So I am slowly, slowly progressing them onto something else. Literally. There's barely any of this in their mix now, and it's just to entice the smell for them to come over, and they'll actually eat everything in their bowl now. It's been a slow process, but we're finally down to one, so I know. I don't want to hear it. Um, I also got this container of mealworms. I made a pretty big order of uh, 
feeder insects, but this I needed some in the meantime till this got here, so I went ahead and got these from my local pet store. Um, my local pet store sells a lot nicer quality than like Petco. They're just expensive. Like this was $15, so not something I like to do frequently, but I accidentally ran out of feeder insects, so I needed these for like my leopard geckos. Um, and bearded dragon and stuff as a supplement to their other in insects and then I went ahead and got some more celery a cucumber a green pepper and a bag of brussels sprouts when I was at Walmart um, to go along with in the bunnies salads in the morning just some extra veggies and that's going to finish it off for the month so I hope you enjoyed this haul please like comment subscribe Share this video if you know other people that have any pets that I have. Um, Alistair is making an appearance. And until next time, I will see you, or I will see you guys next time. Bye. Nympho needed to make an appearance too. Nympho, you don't like Brussels sprouts.